And I'm live. All right, let me make sure that all this works. All right. So, you probably wonder what happened last stream, right? Cut off our weird point for, no, for seemingly no reason. In short, um, Verizon cut my internet off mid right no. at the end of the stream. So yeah, Verizon kind of screwed the stream up. We got my internet back though, hopefully it doesn't go out this time. Always, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? But yeah, we're gonna finish this now. We're in the boss fight, I caught up, we did everything from before. Everything's caught up, we're good to go. Yeah, yeah, we already did this. I'm gonna skip by this. This one's strong, be careful! Alright, um... Forma, iron will formation! I'm gonna move by this pretty fast because you've already seen this fight. Take this. Leave it to me. You know, I'll make sure all this is working. I think it is. Uh, let's see. One sec. I think I'm good. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh. We'll see. I won't let right. you. Ow. Uh, Ow. Up. Get back. It's down. Oh crap. I'm scratching my back. Uh, let's go. I didn't hit that in time. All right. Let's them away. It's my turn. Can you stop killing yourselves? Let's see. Second form. Gale. Rain. Not enough. Let's go. Uh. Thanks. My blade. Need to hit this. You won't escape. Uh, it's my turn. All right. Form up. Let's go. Ha! Thunder Fang. I won't let. You. This is on shit. Go. Um Get back It's down Come on guys Yeah Huck there Leave it to me Thanks Not in my watch It's my turn Uh There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Now there. Let's go. Uh. Yeah. Thanks. Leave it to me. Roaring winds. Come on. Sweep them away. Yeah. It's my turn. Alright. I really need to kill these things already. Bellow! Sick! I'm up! Uh Not in my watch! Let's go! Do I have an impede? I do. I don't want these things healing. Roaring winds? Sweep them away! It's my turn! It's down! There! This is it! Okay, one's dead. Leave it to me. 
So I gotta pick one or the other? Or okay. No! Get back! I won't let you! Stop with the Ixion Vault! I'm up! Uh. Ha! Not in my watch! Leave it to me. That's aerial dust. I forgot which one that was. Form up! Alright. Leave it to me. Yeah! Thanks! It's my turn! Roll! Helix! It's down! There! <laughs> It's my turn. It's down! An opening! Let's go! Arcus, activate! It's my turn. What does that do? I need him to heal. Let's go! Roaring wind! God damn it, guys. Uh, yeah. Not in my watch. Uh, I'm up. Roll Helix, it's down. There. It's my turn. Forma. It's uh. my turn. Roaring, sweep them away. I won't let you! I'm up! Arcus, activate! Uh, yeah. I won't let you! Let's go! Let's go! Spirit unification! It's my turn! It's my turn! Please kill. Okay, got one. Leave it to me. Roaring wits with them away! Sorry. Everyone, I can keep going. Uh, shit. Thanks. Not in my walk. I can keep going. Yeah. I'm up. Form up. There I'm we up. go. Huh. Now, come on, guys. Leave it to me. Ha! There! There we go, finally. As the wind guides us. Alright. Finally killed them. Huh. That was strong. Sure, but we were stronger. Thanks, Rain. I need a little training. That's it for level 3 subroot. Huh. We made better than I expected. Thought you were you in for more of a struggle. Have to crank up things next time. Now if you be so kind, get out. Uh, every time. Does he ever wake up on the right side of the bed? Anyway. What's up, Rain? Nothing. I was thinking how good it is to be working with you again. Our training is the keep and the keep is done. What are you gonna do now? Well, I have some time until my train arrives, so I thought I'd look around the school. Great minds think alike. I was going to ask you if you want to take the grand tour. Lynn works here too, by the way, in the medical department. Does she really? I haven't seen her since my days at the art club. Seems the winds have really deemed a reunion is in order. In that case, mind showing me around? No, no, away we go. After leaving the key, the two then walked around the school for a while, and finally headed to the medical office to see Lind.
They got their wounds from the keep trade while the two art club members caught up. Oh. I thought they were all relaxed by sharing some no tea guys they brought with them. I see. Local college and crossbell, huh? No, you have grown one. Oh no, I didn't know it was just you guys. Did you get a chance to go to the sculpture exhibition Clara held in Heimdall last year? Unfortunately, no. I wanted to go, but I was in a far off place on a point errand. I heard she's been really getting famous as a talented young artist. So I'd like to see one for exhibitions eventually. Clara, I remember always seeing her hold up in the art room working on her sculptures, rain or shine. Do you both still paint? Yeah, I actually did a lot of painting over the last year. I've got quite a few pieces now. Let me know, if, let me know when you have time and I'll show you. <laughs> I don't have much free time these days, but I just like painting again. Hello? Oh right, the shipping company. Okay, understood. I'll have a pick up right away. Did something happen? Sorry, the medical supplies that ordered have been delivered, so I had to step out for a moment and get them put away. Oh, understood. It's still a while before I have to go, so take your time. I see. Even though it's not Santa Claus, I'm not to work. Yeah, everyone's really putting the, putting the all into choosing the, eh, into the past they've chosen. I see. We'll have to make sure I'll keep pace with them. For you, Reigned. For Lind. And for Zio, who's always been watching over me from the great sky above. Zio? They say that a wise falcon hides its claws. I get the feeling you're the same way. Now, why would you say that? Well, I already proved, but while we were in the keep earlier, I felt something. Gentle yet powerful. Some power you didn't have before. Take your new strength is backed by whatever the power is. But can we figure out what it could be? I see. It was just impressive as always. Rain, I... Hold on. You have to tell me right now. Sorry, I wasn't trying to force you out of you or anything. I'm positive you have a good reason for not telling me. And you did say you do... You tell us about it one day, so I'll be, I'd be responsible for me to hear it all by myself. Rain. To be honest, I'm still sorting out my feelings about it. But the sudden change of me. I worry the others may no longer accept me. A change? <laughs> well, it has been a year. Of course you're going to change. No matter what happens, you'll always be you. An important friend of mine who's called everybody in a second home. Thank you, Rain. This was a comforting to hear. And again, I promise, when the time is right, I'll tell all of you Class 7 everything. Alright, when the time comes, we'll hear you out. The day we all see each other again is near. I'm looking forward to it, guys. Yeah, me too. I'll tell you all then, about the road I've traveled. Alright. Probably got all those done. Afterwards, London returned, and they all had a pleasant cup of tea until the train arrived. Got to get my drink, Ray. We promised guys they would see all see each other again soon, and saw them off on the train station. Final guy is strengthened. Four star. Alright, that is all the binding events, so let's get some of the um, some of the profiles done. We gotta do. Tatiana? I I can't believe it. A new work already from Miss Dorothy? Already? I have to let Musi know. So Dorothy's published a new book, huh? Good to see she's still doing well. Oh no. W what's wrong with you? Ow, I've had a headache all morning. Did I catch something? I seems like I'm forgetting something important. Alright, but uh... Three grand, I'll take it. Uh... I have that, have those, have all that. Nothing to buy here. Now you head to the boutique. Wayne. Hmm, this looks good. Wayne? 
a gift to someone? Oh, hello, Instructor Rain. Yes, I have a sister who is two years younger than me. She told me that she wanted some goods up from the store. As that's how it is. That's nice of you. <laughs> she wouldn't stop complaining if I declined, so I really have no choice in the matter. I check my wallet before I go to church. Oh no. What's wrong? <laughs> it's nothing. Since I have a lot less money than I thought. I could save my lunch money if I asked for Freddy for food, but... Don't ever do it. Uh... What are these things? You got some palms, you got some mishi, got those weird raccoon things? I don't know. Alright, what do you got? Anything that I could take? I don't own that. that is, all these are bad. This is a bit better, but that speed decrease I'm not a fan of. Hey, and nothing else really here. I just want to make sure I go to the shops, make sure I got everything. I need to go buy some stuff from the general store. Why is Cerberus here? Oh, <laughs> so you did some shopping, eh? Two bottles of glue and three tubs of high-grade grease. Does he understand him? This is kind of crazy. Alright, let's see. Alright. Here, I need some more tarot bombs, so I'm going to get five of these. Curry bombs, I can use five more. And then also, I think I'm good. Alright. Let's see, uh... Now I guess it's time for the uh, side quest. Uh, let's see. Alright, we're over here. I'm gonna do radio Trista first. Hey, monk. Oh, Reen. Did Celestin contact you? Yeah, did you have some trouble with the radio show? Yeah, it's been pretty, it's a pretty long story though, and I hate to take up your time. I won't bother you right if you're busy right now. He seems pretty worried. You have a lot of things to, to do, but maybe I can at least hear him out. Well, for the time being, you just tell me the story. It's just about appearing on a radio program. <laughs> yeah. I mean, do you know Radio Trista's early morning radio drama? Oh, I knew I used to write a radio drama. I trained in the morning, so I never heard of it. I see. That might actually be for the better. Huh? <laughs> the show is called Adventures... It's an adventure ca drama called Eternal Noon. It started in the spring. It's been really catching steam with the listeners. And in the summer festival in the capital, we're going to do a special show during prime time. I see. I never heard of it, but it sounds interesting. So, what's the problem? Um, well... There's some issues with the protagonist and the heroine. We hired two actors from the theater company, but both of them came out with food poisoning. I see. Food spoils faster this time of year. Because they had bad luck. Wait, are you asking? Yep, I'm asking you to play the protagonist. No, no, no. No way I can't, I can't do that. I never acted in my life. The fans are going to be furious. Well, in the same great series, your voice is very similar to his. It's not I've heard of in this industry, and I'll do everything I can to help you. And most importantly, I think you fill the protagonist's role perfectly. Even if that is true, do you say the heroine got food poisoning too? Well, yes. The, the way your show works, the heroine changes every episode. A few scripts are already, so I think I need to make this work. So I have a few people in the mind that we both know. I hope you may be able to convince one of them. It was nice knowing you. Hey, wait! Like I said, the shit's finally picking up steam. I don't want to end like this. I've worked on this on this story ever since our school days. It's my precious baby. It's just like the admin time. I want nothing but quality entertainment for our listeners. <sighs> this is so out of the blue, but I feel sorry for him. It's gonna be hard asking someone we both need to play heroin. 
Okay, I don't know what I can do, but I'll try my best. Th thanks, Irene. I don't even know how to begin with the thank you. We don't have much time, right? Come on, let's get started. So who do you think would be good, good for the heroine role? Oh yeah. So first of all, first of all, the drama is set in a fictional kingdom located in the center of the continent. Main character's name is Noon, the skilled agent who carries out secret orders must from the second-born princess. He's got quite an interesting background: white hair, black clothes, and as him, his chosen blade. He's a sword known as a katana. What? Hold up. If you all, if you all watch, if you all play Trials of Steel 4, hold up. I think about the katana sounds pretty on point with a certain character. I don't know where to start with this main character. So, for the heroine, I'm thinking a petite troublemaking engineer named Femi, or a female merchant with, a, with an accent named Bertha, who goes up to against big companies, or a plucky mister named Nanai, who works at a big hospital that's taken over by a pharmaceutical company, or a sister named Rise, who is part of the church's secret order of knights. Those are the heroines from the scripts that go, are ready to go. Okay, I know who you have in mind. Min for the engineer, Becky for the merchant, Len for the med student, and Rosine for the sister. Yeah, so why don't you ask one to play the part of the heroine? I usually decide to go with. Okay, I don't have I don't have much time, so I'll go ask around. You need to prepare for the recording, right? Go ahead and do that thing for the time being. Alright, got it. Alright, so I'm going to figure out which one to do for the story. Let's see. We got Femi, who's meant the merchant, Bertha, med student, or the sister. Let me see, who gives me the best reward? Let's see, Rosie gives me Shining, eh. Mint gives me Holy Breath, nah. But I mean Becky, she gives the Adventian shield. So if I ask Becky... This way is the best uh, reward. Hi right, Becky. What's wrong, Rain? You're looking a wee bit troubled. Well... Very well for the radio drama. Fire female merchant goes up against big companies. So something about an accent too. It's perfect for Becky. Well, actually, a monk gave me a request. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I knew you wouldn't want to do this. How much are they paying? Huh? Actually, maybe they can pay by running ads. Either from my store, the Celtic Grand Market, or the ECC Train Crossbell. Well, knowing that monks the producer will work out. No time to waste, though. Let's start negotiating. He's unusually enthusiastic. So I remember the first time I did this, I think I did Lend. So I have no mem- I never did this part before. We and Becky head over to the radio station and met with Monk. They were handed the script after reading it over a few times they were ready to record. As they signed there, Becky forced them to air commercials for her during the broadcast. Great negotiating skills for Becky? Rin and Becky gave their fame betrayals for the roles of the, uh, of the protagonist and the heroine. Although there were some hiccups, the recording went very smoothly. All that was left was to record the climax scene. Okay, next is the climax car chase scene with the enemy squad. Bertha finds proof that her big corporation secretly killed her father, but the orbital car Noon is driving is being chased by a bunch of armored vehicles driven by the bad guys. I'll let you two figure out how do you want to do this. The us? Okay. Aye, let's do this. One, two, three, four. Damn, we've got five on our tail. Noon, you got any grenades? Any anti-tank rifle would work too. Sorry, I'm gonna use a katana. Try not to lose them. Fasten your seatbelt and brace yourself. No bother. This is the last scene. You two are in a dead end, and you're using the orbital car as a shield. With the enemies fast approaching, Newton tells Bertha to escape, and then she scolds him for it. I'm first. I'd say... Let's see. 
I'm gonna listen to what the guide says here. It says go to casually urge her. Uh, look, we've got no choice. I'll buy you some time. When you see an opening, run into the guild. I'm up next. Let's see. Reprimand and decline or decline with the spunk. Don't be daft. Didn't the princess tell you already? You need to quit trying to shoulder everything on your own. Think about those who around you feel. That's perfect red for rain. <laughs> and cut. That was perfect. You guys are perfect together. <laughs> That's a good. <laughs> Easy as. With all the twists and turns, the recording was done in an hour. Rain and Becky got up their things and prepared to head out. Thank you both so much. We we're going to start editing it now, but I think it's going to turn out to be as well, great as the other episodes. Uh, I'm not so sure what matched up to the real thing. I guess it's commercial time, so no complaints from me. Anyway, it was no coincidence you asked us to play these characters, huh? Uh, the dialogue sounds dead like me and Rain. Though I guess some parts were exaggerated. <laughs> well... You're exactly right. I described the mannerisms to the scriptwriter while adding a splash of favor. I thought modeling the main characters after you two would make a really good story. I figured that was the case. Well, that's fine, but I may need to charge you for using my likeness. I got more commercials than a regular shopping show, and I top it all off with a personal thanks. Good job negotiating, Bex. <sighs> I'll do what I can. Alright. Got Emma Titan Shield now, so that's great. Alright, next up. Right over here. What up, Liza? Oh, Liza. Oh, welcome, instructor. Did you come here for my request, perhaps? That's right. Your brand is great, too, but I just came to help out. You want me to look at, for something? Yes, but it's personal. I'm so sorry for bringing you out here for this. Maybe a little harder than you expected. Heh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So, can you tell me about it? Um, okay. Are you aware that I'm not from the leaves area? I actually missed here only last year. Yeah, I heard. The next time your story has gotten so popular, people are coming here all the way from the capital. Fortunately, yes. But I actually came here once before, two years ago. I really fell in love with this town and decided to open my shop here with him. With him? So you came here on the, a vacation with your boyfriend? Um, well, he was my lover, my fiance. Oh, I see. I never knew she had a fiance. Wait, are you running this place on your own? Yes, we promised we'd open the store together. But due to some circumstances, I came here by myself to get the business rolling. Recently, though, I received a strange letter from him. He sent me a grand opening gift. But I need to solve the riddle he gave me in order to find it. The riddle, you say? That is interesting. Uh, you can be on playful. You can be playful, too playful sometimes. It's not urgent, but if you could, could you, but if you could help me, give him her fiance. I don't blame him for being bothered by it. Probably won't be a ring, right? Will it? Yes, if you don't mind, I'd love to help you. Thank goodness. It's probably bothered me for a while now. Now then, would you mind taking a look at the letter? Certainly. Hmm. Dearest Liza, you should have opened the bakery by now. I'm sure your days are filled with work and worry. When you have a spare moment, I'd like you to follow these clues. The secret words we left behind at the place where travelers first stop. There, I'm sure you'll find my gift to you. Uh, hmm, I see it's some kind of puzzle. Place where travelers first stop. Hmm, first place tra towards visits is... Do you even hear what he means? Yeah, I think I do. Gifts should be waiting at the very end. I'll let you know when I find it. Wait, well, I'm sorry for putting a personal trouble like this on you. But thank you, instructor. So that would be the train station. Travelers first stop. And he gave me the answer. Thank you, Matt. The part of, of the riddle which have his first stop. The place in town someone leaves at, at the end up would definitely be the leave station. I was no exception. Went through here too. The first time I came to leaves. 
time sure does fly. The secret words will be left behind it, but the place where travelers first stop. Next part is the secret of words we left behind. Let's have a look around. Huh, I wonder what is that shining thing over here? Memory is notebook. Please use this to record the memories of your trip. This is a notebook of visitors to write their thoughts and memories in. Secret words that we left behind. I never flies or anything into it. Mm, that would have been two years ago, so... Ah, here we go. Liza, he took, a, he took a day off so we would come on a two-day trip. Leaves is such an adorable town. Julian, our dream is to open a bakery. Like I thought, small towns like this are better for the pit problems than crowd places like Heimdall. Hope we have to find a good location. Uh, hmm, we also to visit the, visit the house shining cut to, of the shining cut together. She didn't say yes, after all. Let's see something here. Alright. Sorry, my uh, thing was acting weird. It's all working now. That's no private matter. Don't be shy, Liza. I'm not. <laughs> not sure I get what they were talking about, but it's clear they're enjoying themselves. And this one sticks out to me. Let's see what the letter was talking about. The House of the Shining Cup. Or at least that be. Maybe I'll check there. Uh, let's see, a shining cup, huh? So it would be over here. Well, Father. House of the Shining Cup has been referring to the Septian Church, right? Father Henry might know something, but I better ask him. Oh, can I help you with something? I'd like to ask you a question. You happen to remember two travelers coming by here from the capital about two years ago? They have a couple. I'm sure you may have seen quite a few people that match the description, but... Uh, actually, I believe I know who you're referring to. They came to enjoy a tour of the church together. Two of them were so in love that I couldn't possibly have forgotten. Two have recently gotten engaged. If I remember correctly, the man's name was Julian. They consulted me about potentially having their wedding here. <laughs> I see. That's what the note said, Mitch, by her saying yes. You may already know, but that woman was Liza, the bakery owner. She still comes around from time to time. Yeah, it turns out she fell in love with, in, with Lee and ended up moving here. Unfortunately, Julian hasn't come yet. Ah. Uh, father? Sorry, it's nothing. I just remember that Julian left me a letter. He told me that someday someone might come here and ask me about the two of them. Do you want me to give it to you? Well, I don't know if I'm worthy of receiving it, but... It should be fine. It's what he requested. Besides, you've been helping Liza out, haven't you? All right, I'll take a look. Thank you. Here it is. Now let's see here. Liza, there is one thing I know for sure. We will move to this town someday. So until then, I'll leave this gift with the keeper who watches from the hill. Hope this happiness lasts forever. This is... Is that the gift somewhere? Does that mean it's been somewhere in Leeds for two years? That's pretty surprising. But this happiness lasts forever. Isn't the kind of message you leave with just any gift? Heh, <laughs> did you discover something? Yes, I think I have a good idea. I should look into this. The keeper who watches from the hill. Is in Lee's the hill part probably refers to Could be that one spot. Uh it's not on here. So we'll be on a campus? I would. And this ain't no hill. I mean, that's more of the hill up there. Like, on top of over there. Not the, over here. Uh, there it is. I bet there was a small hill here before the branch campus was built. Oh. Okay. Can we watch this on the hill? Could mean the tallest tree here? Okay, I'll check it out. When you got permission to dig around the big tree area in the garden area. After searching for a couple of spots, he uncovered a small box wrapped in oil paper. He wants to find something like this here. This drawing guy seems like quite an interesting person. Anyway, now that I found it, I should tell Liza. Oh my, since we spent all this time? 
Why would he do something so roundabout like this? Uh, uh, would you care to do that on this, Lisa? Oh, yes. Well then. Liza? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been thinking about how long it's been since back then. Lisa gently opened a small box. Inside the box was a beautiful red bottle and a new letter. To my beloved Liza, by the time you read this, you may, do, you may have already opened up your bakery. If so, I'd like to congratulate you. Your hard work has seen the dream we shared come true at last. Wish you all the best in the world. But the fact that you found us means I no longer I must no longer be there by your side. Seems I left you all alone, and for that I'm I am so deeply sorry, my love. I swore to always make you happy, and I've been proud to uphold that promise my whole life. Where every day in my absence, you will smile as exchange for tears. This might not be enough to atone for breaking my promise, but I've included herb seeds in this layer. Got them during my last post, they're supposed to be pretty good, full of nutrients, with a distinctive flavor. I know like a perfectly delicious bread. So my worries my worry proves to be nothing, and that you're smiling the beautiful smile at, of yours as you live out your dream. My eternal love to you, Julian. Julian, this is what you left me. It's so very like you. I've been wondering, but did Julian? I'm sorry, Chuckter. I should have kept it from you. He, Julian's very kind, and smart. He was born into a poor family. For a good scholarship, he had to enroll in the military academy outside the, out of the in the countryside. As he graduated, he said he'd give back. He had to give back, so he enlisted the military. He had to retire from the military after two years, and then we opened the bakery together. No way. But one day, he was called to active duty and never returned. So it's already been a year and a half since then. So he did pass away, and in Civil War too. After I lost him, I didn't know what to do. For a whole year afterwards, it felt as though my very soul had been ripped out. Even after that, it was too painful to live alone. No, it was that I wanted to run away from the place that we had lived together. Went off my own to leaves and opened the bakery. But somehow, it felt as though I had broken a promise to him. I felt so guilty. But seeing this, it seems like he already forgiven me. Yeah. It's good to me that Julian generally wished for your happiness. As a soldier, he knew he might have something might have happened to him, so he made a letter for you to find. But you might end up losing your way. So you want to make sure you open your bakery you plan to, huh? I don't know that for sure, but I feel like there's a message in these herbs that I meant to convey. I see. Personally, I showed you was sent by his family. He found it while going through his things. It was though he had written the letter, to the, uh, the letter himself only the other day. It seemed like he knew I'd op just opened a bakery, and I found myself wondering how he could have known. But I think I'll finally be able to receive his last wish for me. Thank you so much for finding this for me. And please, come visit our bakery anytime. Liza. Of course I will. You can count me as one of your regulars. That's sad. That is sad. Oh. That. I feel bad for her. Hey, Jingo! What you doing? Oi! Oh, not oi, oh. Oh, are you here to buy something? Got this card in case in the in case this morning. It's a bit one, but real cool looking. Wanna buy it? A card case? Yeah, you know, for playing cards? It's made of military grade bulletproof material. In a case like this, you can even play cards on the battlefield. Um, is this really necessary? Anyway, it's first come, first served. How about, you want it? Alright, you drive a hard bargain. I'll take it. Heh <laughs> thanks. Huh, this is pretty stylish looking. Oh, looks like there's already some cards inside. Oops, I never I never checked inside. Let me see. Oh, these are what you call antique cards. Why it looks about 100 years ago. Looks like it's a full 36 card set. Well shoot, I know they were charged more. Oh, well, if that's the case, I'll give these back. Nah, don't worry about it. I already sold them to you, I just gotta talk to someone that need more training. Though, I feel like there was someone at the branch campus looking for some cards like these. Someone at the branch campus? Oh well, those are yours now, so you can do what you want with them. Be sure to take good care of them. Heh, <laughs> thanks. Alright. 
Now I know where to go for this one. Uh, I head to the second floor of the school. Okay, he's over here. Hey, Stark. Pawn shop and Heimdall didn't have anything. Uh, this is going to be impossible to find, isn't it? Oh, you're looking for something, Stark? Yes, actually. I've been trying to find something for a while now. Is there an antique deck of cards? Sure, they're old, but it's not something like they're super rare or anything like that. Oh. Deck of cards I bought. Wasn't someone looking for them? You know, show them to Stark. There's something I'd like to, you take a look at. This might have to be what you're looking for, would it? A card case? What's so special about it? Check inside. Huh? What's inside? Th these are... These are... It really is them! That's like the antique cards I've been looking for. Not just that, there's these scratches and creases. <laughs> this is the exact deck I lost! The exact deck? Yeah, these cards were my treasure. They were given me by a guy I really look up to. But one day my dad sold them to a pawn shop thinking they were his. Ah, so that's what happened. <laughs> Pretty stupid, right? If I just taken better care of these, it never would have happened. Seeing these again reminds me of those days in Jirai. He was four years older than me, strong, smart, cunning. I can't even count how many times he fooled me with these cards. Must have been quite the trickster. Is he still in Jirai? No, in Civil War last year he... I see. Sorry. From Jirai, four years older? Hmm. All that aside, where did you even find this deck anyway? I'm Nine Valley. I was there earlier and had the card case recommended to me. I looked inside, there were a deck of cards sitting in there. I'm guessing the precious owner sold the case with, these deck, with this deck inside. I see, so the cards were hidden in there. Maybe that explains why I had such a hard time finding them. Well, all's well that ends well. Glad you finally found them again. You can go inside on this, Dark. Might as well keep the case still. Huh? But, um, I can't just take this. Heh, <laughs> why not? You said yourself those cards are, are your treasure, right? Of course, I'm happy to have them again, but I just can't accept them like this. Let me pay you 100,000 mirror for them. 100,000? This is all the money I set aside for the buy that I've ever found it. It's just in case someone else got it before I could. Please accept this, all of my thanks. Uh, hmm. So you either you can get the 100,000 mirror or you can refuse and you get extra AP. I'm gonna be the nice guy and refuse. Get my greed. I'm not that greedy. Sorry, I can't accept that. How about this? Let's make a little wager. A wager? Yeah. I'm gonna throw a 50 mirror coin in there and catch it. Because I guess which hand I'm holding in. If you guess wrong, you keep all that money as yours. Hmm, that sounds pretty interesting. <laughs> Alright, I accept. But if I guess right, you have to accept all 1,000 mirror. 100,000 mirror. Deal. Here we go. Well, were you paying attention? Which hand's the coin in? Let's see. This was his favorite trick. Trick to ring probably test me, see if I know it. Did the coin fall down below as proof? So the answer is... Nice try, but it's not in either hand, is it? That's your guess? Let's check then. Well, the right hand's empty, but what about the left? What? what? <laughs> Look surprised. You do tricks, so I thought you knew the answer. <laughs> I see. You pulled the fast one on me. You had two coins, and you let the other one drop, and kept the other in your hand. Yep, exactly it. Huh, <laughs> you're pretty good, Chuck Doreen. Maybe even better than Crow. Well, I don't know if I'll go that far. I feel like you knew Crow. This really looked up to him back in Jirai. Well, yeah, he taught me a lot. Why well, I talked to him since he left Jirai? That long, huh? He was around 13 when he left, right? So I answered that, the former mayor, his grandfather died, and we looked up to him. I was only eight when it happened, so I didn't really understand the situation back then. To this day, I still regret that I wasn't able to say goodbye to him. I haven't chased any shadows since then. During Civil War, I heard the rumors of the Ezra Shabbat and I thought, maybe. But by the time I figured out his identity, Crow had already... Well, I'm sure you know. Yeah. But wow, I'm pretty proud we were able to find that much on your own, huh? Thanks. I guess you could say that Crow taught me well. 
Stanley, I know it's to come to branch campus because I heard you be here. If you got the chance, I'd love to hear more about Crow from you. You was quite a card, huh? Yeah, you said. Though I never could guess that's what brought you to the school. In any case, I'm interested in what hearing about Crow was like when he was younger. Let's meet up sometimes swap stories. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. I never lose deck again. I swear it. Thank you so much, Instructor Rain. No problem at all. Uh, let's see. That masked man. There's no way it could be Crow. Alright, let's see. Uh, da da. I need to go to the student store. Before we end the stream here, just gather some things. Becky, why did Monk a favor and snatch up some advertising potential? Not a bad gig either. They all try to convince him to let me appear again. Heh, <laughs> in fact, no loss of you, Becky. She was out of Monk's pocket, so be nice to him. Oh, Rain, I'm at task. You have one that isn't a small in Ordis, I? Yeah, I was hoping out Ferris. I seems like Dan's eyes and cost kings making life in Gehenna, life living Gehenna and pretty much all the Clay's affiliate shops. Even still, I didn't expect things to get that bad. You know, Hugo had been working for the government to help beat out those rivals, but I think he's going way too far now. Doesn't sound much like Hugo. Hugo's always been business minded, but he's no opportunist. Aye, that's what's bothering me about it all. Oh well, guess there's no point thinking about it now. We need to check up at Clay's and Co. next time I'm behind all. Yeah, let me know if you find anything. I ain't bother, leave it to me. We need to be here in the first place to help out. Just right. a show and I'll get you what you need. I was make sure you got everything. Piggy bank? What? Oh, she has all the mishies. That's awesome. Also I need. Uh, I need to buy all the accessories I don't have. Okay. Uh, I don't have a happy helmet. All right. I need more. I need to peck you still. I know that's part of a set. Alright. Can I sell anything? Okay, why do you still have 25 Goose Barnacle? I also don't need these anymore. I don't need those anymore. I sell that. Why do I have five of these? Catch right. you later! Show and I'll get you what you need. What else do I got? I need Merchant Miss Merchant Mishy. Blonde Hero Relia? What? Red Pendulum. 50. Nah. Catch you nah. later. <laughs> that ain't happen. What's she looking with blonde hair? She doesn't look that bad. All right. Let's see what else I have to do. Uh, da da. All right. So that'll be the end of the stream today. Thank you guys for showing up. I appreciate it. We'll be back tomorrow with some Madden, and then Thursday Madden, and then Friday we'll be back with this for the Hell Keep. So I'll see you guys then. Appreciate you guys, you know, watching. I'm sorry for you yesterday, but Verizon screwed me. But yeah, so I'll see you guys. Have a good rest of. The